I think one of the best things about Cutter to me is that it is a community. Uh, it's a community of people. Uh, you know, uh, there are people who work for Cutter, uh, but the the larger community at Cutter doesn't work directly for Cutter, but is drawn to Cutter by the other members of the community. So it's kind of a self-selected community, and uh, that makes it a special place. It makes it a place where things are happening, where all of a sudden there's a buzz around some topic. All of the most interesting people talking about that are buzzing around the Cutter community, and they they are drawn. This this I think happened with Agile. Uh, that's probably the best example of this that uh, you know you look around an informal gathering at Cutter and you find yourself in the room with you know the Jim Highsmiths, the Kent Becks, the uh, Alistair Coburns and a, a whole bunch of other people uh, who are really good at this stuff and um, because it's a self-selected community I think it's a much more dynamic community it's not one where people are sort of sitting passively uh, people are debating people are are, are uh, arguing and you can sort of feel the frontier moving forward in these conversations. So um, I think it's a very exciting place. Um, I think it's a place where I have met a lot of people whose opinions matter to me. And uh, I mean, you meet people like Tom DeMarco, like Ed Jordan, like Jim Highsmith, like Ken Orr, like Lynn Ellen. Uh, I mean, you meet people from, from businesses as well. I mean, Lynn Ellen is a CIO of a top U.S. firm, and it's fascinating to hear her take on things, which is always not actually with Lynn. It's not usually uh, the the sort of conventional wisdom. It's usually got her own twist, her own spin, and I think that's that's another thing that's great about Cutter is that you don't get the conventional wisdom from Cutter. You get the contrarian thinking of the experts, uh, the access to the experts. You hear, you, know, you don't always hear agreement. There's not a cutter position on a lot of things. There are multiple positions. And uh, this is one of the things I enjoy a great deal about the Trends Council, where we have somebody stake out a position, and then um, you know the others of us kind of take pot shots or agree, um, kind of on a Supreme Court model, where we do opinions and then concurrences or dissents. And uh, you know, one of the things I enjoy a great deal is the phone calls we do to in the in the process of preparing those uh, conference. The, their conference calls with a whole bunch of people on them, uh, basically all talking at once, and uh, they're pretty rowdy. The Trends Council meetings are that way too, and uh, I, I have to say, I, when I sit in those meetings, I get so many ideas about um, what we uh, what I ought to be thinking about.